Hey, I'm here again. <laughs> we will be reading my favorite book of the Bible, Ephesians. Ephesians uh, used to be Romans and uh, Hebrews. I still love Romans and Hebrews, but Ephesians, it's uh, your, what do you say, lifestyle to be a Christian. It's your uh, uh, confessions. It's what who you are because it's so powerful. It's just so powerful. Let's just read some scripture when we talk about that. It says, uh, there was a greeting in the beginning, chapter 1, uh, Paul, uh, apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, to the saints who are in Ephesus. Ephesus. So, uh, obviously, it was uh, uh, Greek, uh, uh, the Gentiles, people that who didn't believe in Christ, and then they become Christians, they receive Jesus as their Lord, and uh, to this congregation, to the people, to the believers, this, uh, the letter was written. And this powerful thing is here is, uh, I like when Paul always starts with greeting and he says, Grace to you and peace from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. That's a prayer. That's, 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 uh, that's a powerful also um, a prayer in, in greetings. So I tell you also, grace to you and peace from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ to all who are um, watching this. Three. So verse 3 says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ, just as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before Him in love having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace by which he made us accepted in the beloved. Let's just talk about that. How powerful is that? It says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. So as we know, there are, we know for sure we have, there are three heavens because Paul says in one of his letters, he says uh, he was uh, brought into the third heaven where he saw things in that uh, a dimension in that realm. So, and we see here, so blessed be the God, our Father, Lord Jesus Christ, who, who, Father has blessed me, I always say me, I put myself there. So as, uh, as uh, I always say, I do not speak for other people. I do not think for them. I don't speak for them. And I only will be accountable for my own actions, my own uh, decisions, uh, my own um, choices. So I always, when I read the Bible, I put myself into that. So if the passage is written to the congregation, it's written specifically to me. That's how I understand. I take it personally. It's, it's written to Nika. <clears throat> so to me, it's written here. So I would actually, I would uh, just, you know, not advice, I would just give you as a, um, you know, suggestion. If you do that, it, uh, the scripture will become more personal to you. It will become, you will, you will develop that personal relationship with, the, with God and who God is. Who, who is He? Who is He? How He looks like, what He hates, what He likes, what, what He wants. And oh, um, what, what is His will? Because I know I have my will. Like we all have wills, we all make choices and make decisions. So uh, to find out, it's always good to uh, make it personal, like it's to, to you, God speaking right to you through this scripture. And I know the scripture was translated so many times with so many, um, uh, and then the publishing, and this was republished so many times and with, to the modern English, from the old English, from the modern English, from old Hebrew that I have a, this uh, 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 rooted, uh, Hebrew root, Roots uh, Bible, 
uh, which is <laughs> it's easy for me to read, but for many uh, English speaking uh, people uh, whose language is their first English language, uh, th for them it's a little not accurate or um, kind of um, how to say awkward uh, because uh, it's translated literally translated. <laughs> into me as we I speak Russian in so other uh, other languages it's easy to understand because we can speak uh, phrases the way how we want emphasizing the actions of the sentence anyway I just went a little bit uh, away from the subject so how wonderful is to know it says God father of our Jesus Christ our father creator he blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. So I am blessed. And it says, if you notice, it says, it's, it's, uh, it says in the past tense, it says, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ? So in heavenly places, we are blessed with all, every spiritual, there are spiritual blessings. There are a lot of blessings and we bless, we have it. We possess it. How wonderful is, is that? Just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. So, God is this ultimate, almighty, ultimate God who created stars and the galaxies and everything. He actually, it says right here, he chose me. He chose me, Nika, in him, in whom? In Christ Jesus, before the foundation of the world. So before the earth started, before everything was created, we know that from the book, the Genesis, chapter, first seven chapters, we know how the creation was made. God created everything by speaking things, how powerful his words were. So we know that, but before that everything created, God, who created of universe in everything, He chose me in Him, in Jesus Christ, before the foundation of the world. Chose me. I was chosen before the foundation of the world. How amazing is that? That why I was chosen? That I, Nika, should be holy and without blame before. Him in love, before Him, whom? Before God, in love. And we know that God is love. God created everything so perfect, with so much love, with so much mm, perfect love and perfect, perfect uh, enough, you know, uh, intentions of love, uh, in love. So, and then it says, so, so we should be holy without blame, so holy, Holy, that when holy, that's to me, it's a holy person, is that person who loves to do right uh, things, to loves to do things that are good. And there's lack of evil, but only good. Holy, yeah? Without blame. There's nothing to blame. Like, he made us, he chose me in Christ Jesus so that I will be holy without blame. Nobody can come and blame me for something, accuse me. No blame, because that's how he made me in Jesus Christ, in love. And it says, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself. So he, I was predestined, I was chosen, and I was predestined to adoption. Adoption then means I become part of him, of his family, of him, of God. I was here adopting me. Adoption then mean, means that I I was I became uh, his daughter. So it says adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself. But sons is kind of generic to, um, um, other words. It's uh, children. So I will be as daughter by Jesus Christ to God. It says to himself. And it says why, why he did that. It says according to the good pleasure of his will. According to the good pleasure of his will. So he wanted, God, Father, creator of the universe, he wanted, his will was so pleasant to him. He was, 
It was a pleasure for him to will that, to will to choose Nika before the foundation of the world. He chose me so that I should stay, I should be holy that in Christ Jesus to himself. How wonderful is that? He said, to the praise, why? To his pleasure and to the praise of the glory of his grace by which he made us accepted in the beloved. Why he did it? For his glory, because God is all glory. God is glory. So, so he will be glorified. So that if I, if I say about God, God is love, God is created, God is mighty, God is everything, God created everything. He's my creator. He's my father. In Jesus Christ, I made so perfect. He, he made me perfect, blameless and holy. So that we should stay holy. How wonderful is that uh, God's will and intentions for me. He, uh, I have, he adopted me as a daughter. So adoption then means I, I, I become a part of him. A part of him. God, a part of God. Because he adopted me. Like if I have my own son. My son has genes that came, biological genes came, came from me. Some of his features of his face looks like me. People say that he looks like you. Um, and I see some of the, some of the, you know, a personality uh, uh, side of him that, that reminds me myself. And uh, because he's my son, yeah, I was used to create by the Lord, create my own son. And I see a lot of things that resemblance with my son. Same thing when God adopted me and I became his daughter. So I became of his own image on this earth presenting God himself as a daughter of God Almighty. How wonderful, amazing is that promise. So I just wanted to share that uh, this uh, uh, few chapter, few, uh, first chapter, few verses that absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. So for this video, I will stop on the uh, verse 6, First uh, chapter of Ephesians until 6. I just will read, read again. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed me with all, with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ. In Christ I was blessed. Just as he choose, chose me in him. In Christ Jesus before the foundation of the world so that I should be holy and without blame before him before God in love in love that's so powerful God loves you so much in his love I will stay blameless and holy he predestined me to adoption as a daughter by Jesus Christ to himself, to God, according to his good pleasure of his will, to the what? To the praise of the glory of his grace. So I praise God. I praise his name. I praise, I magnify and praise his name, his glory of his grace is given to me. And I received it by faith. I believed and I received it. By which we, uh, he, God, made us accepted in the beloved. Beloved would be the Christ Jesus. So just meditate on this uh, words. Just think about how wonderful, what are those are promises. Those are your, um, those are, these are my, um, how do I say, my um, declarations. This is what I believe. This is what I live with, uh, with this. I walk in that. I trust in it. I believe. And I thank God for those promises. I'm blessed with all, with all every spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus in heaven. Okay? So I just pray that the scripture will come as a wonderful seed into your heart and will bear wonderful fruits and God bless you I pray that God's grace and his wisdom and his revelation will be so revealed to you amen in Jesus